Hey, happy Monday. Woo! I just got my driveway, walkway, side porch and front step and my, the, the concrete pad in the backyard pressure washed. It is beautiful. It hasn't even dried yet and I can already tell it looks way better. Of course, you go outside of my house right now, it smells like a swimming pool because of the chlorine and stuff, you know, but he, oh, he does such a good job. He always does. He came out and did it for me. Um, and I really wish I had done before and after pictures the first time he did it because the driveway and the, the concrete pad in the back were just like dark gray. I mean, they hadn't been cleaned in forever, like maybe never. Super dark gray. And I thought, you know, I don't, I don't really know how much good cleaning it is going to do. It looked like I had a brand new driveway. It was unbelievable how much better it looked. It looked like a totally different driveway. And the concrete pad in the back looked brand new. I was, I just could not say enough good things. I just, oh, it looks so good. And he pressure washed the whole house. I didn't have him do that this time. But, um, there's a Volkswagen Beetle. An old one. It's after 1968, but it's still a real one. It's not like the little plastic ones they started making in, what was it, 2006? Now, when did they start making the new Beetle? Shit, I don't remember now. I don't know. They're all right, but they don't count. That's not a real Beetle. I don't know what the hell that is. That's a plastic imitation. But anyway, I'm very happy. Everything looks so good. It looks beautiful. I took pictures before, um, and it has to dry. There's a little scooter for sale over there. A little three-wheel scooter. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait to see. Because after it dries, it's going to brighten up even more over the next few hours. It's going to look even better. It already looks great. He does such a good job. I just, I love it. Because, you know, most of the stuff I have done around my house turns into this long pain in the ass. My electrician and this guy that does the pressure washing. I'm very happy with everything they do. They just come in, you know, well, here's your estimate. Okay, let's do it. And they just come and get it done. And, you know, it's fantastic. I like it when, you know, you hire somebody to do a job and they just come do the job and it, you know, and it's good and you pay them and that's it. Why, why can't that be, why can't that be the case more often? You go to a company, I need a thing done. Can you do a thing? Yes, we can do a thing. And they come do the thing and you pay them. Thank you. That looks much better. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Why can't it be like that? It's never like that. <laughs> Everything else I do is nothing like that. I'm trying to get the guy to come back out to tell me how much it's going to be for the sides to get my siding done and I cannot get this doofus to call me back. Shit. Like, I gotta get you to come out and give me an estimate. Uh. I don't even want them to do it, but I want it to match the back. So I kind of have to have them do it. The siding that they use is proprietary. It is their siding. You can't get somebody else to come out and put it up. It has to be them. Of course. Of course. Anyway, I don't care. I'm happy. I just left the post office. Um, I'm going to drop some stuff off at Goodwill. Damn, they already opened a new restaurant back there. What was it called? Namaste Lumbini? Something. Linguini. I can't read it from here. First word was Namaste. I read that. I don't know what the second one was. That I hate they closed, too. That was actually a really great restaurant back there. But it only lasted about a year. But they had really, really good food. I guess I should have eaten there more often, but I don't really go out to eat much. So... Yeah, but they, they had, I ate there twice, and it was so good. It was a Mexican restaurant. It was so good. Oh, my word. It was really good. I hate they closed. Um, but, no, I don't really go out to eat much. My son was very happy with his nuggets last night. He said, thank you for the happy birthday wishes. He stayed up late last night. He actually just got up right before I left the house. He slept through all the pressure washing and everything which is funny because when he was a baby, any little sound would wake him up. He was a very light sleeper. He did not sleep through the night until he was about a year old. I tried every trick in the book and this baby, this child would just not sleep. I don't know why. 
I was like a zombie for the first year of his life because I went back to work when he was six weeks old, full time, and I had a three-year-old at home. And, uh, you know, God, I couldn't sleep. I was like, I was like a freaking zombie for the first year because I never got any sleep. I was up with him all night, working all day, coming home and taking care of two small children by myself, you know. I was like a damn zombie for the first year or two of his life. I was really pitiful. So it's kind of funny that, you know, any little thing would wake him up. And I tell you what, I will never tut tut another parent. Oh, well, I know why it's, I know why your child is doing X, Y, Z. It's because you did or didn't do A, B, C. Because that would have fixed it. No, shut up. Shut up. You don't know. You don't know. Every baby is very different. My two children were very different as babies. Very different. You cannot, you cannot depend on the stuff that worked for one kid working for the other. It might, but it might not. And that doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. It doesn't mean you're a shitty parent. It means all kids are different. And some kids just don't, they don't sleep. And if your kid is sleeping through the night when it's five minutes old, you know, congratulations, that's awesome. It doesn't mean you're better at being a parent than somebody else. Sometimes you just end up with a kid that just won't freaking sleep. That's what I had, my second child. Sweet Lord. That book that Samuel L. Jackson read, Go the Fuck to Sleep. Yeah, <laughs> I needed that book. Go the fuck to sleep. For God's sake. Oh, he slept beautifully during the day at daycare. Yeah, they said, oh, he sleeps. I'm sure he does. He was up all night partying with me. I tried every, every, everything over that year to get him to sleep. Everything. Go. That young one wouldn't sleep. I swear to God, I, I thought I was going to lose my mind. But if you have a kid like that, hang in there. Hang in there. It does get better. Eventually, yes, they will sleep. And you will sleep. And you will get your sanity back. Just in time for them to go through some other phase that will drive you crazy. But it's all worth it. Yeah, it's all worth it. You'll be glad. Because <laughs> now I have a 13-year-old who can sleep through pressure washing going on right outside of the window loud as hell. He didn't hear any of it. He heard none of it because he was zonked out on the couch. <laughs> Damn. He slept through me vacuuming. I was vacuuming downstairs. He didn't hear that either. I, was, I had this loud animated conversation with his brother. He didn't hear any of that. That boy, I could, I could have a marching band go through the living room. It wouldn't have woken him up. So, if you have a baby that won't sleep, just hang in there. They will sleep eventually. They will. This too shall pass, and one day they will sleep. I promise you. <laughs> and then one day you're going to wake up to a teenager. What? I have, a teen I have two teenage boys now. That's crazy. So, yes, I'm very happy. I didn't have much to do in the way of work today. I had a little bit. I've already been to an exercise class today. Woo! I did the, the little bit of work I did have for my day job. It's just been really quiet. Last week was really quiet. And this week is starting out the same. I mean, it may not stay that way. It may get busy later, but for right now, I don't really have much to do. So, that's cool, I guess. I just won't worry about it. It gives me more time to do other stuff, so that's fine. Like drop off stuff at Goodwill. I've got to go to the store. I gotta get some milk. And that, I think that's it. I think that's all I need. Oh, bananas. I need bananas too. Milk and bananas. And uh, yeah, it's great. So um, I hope you're having a good Monday so far. Mine's been pretty good. I've already gotten a lot done. It's not even noon yet. The pressure washer guy just left, so I have you have to kind of hang out while he, you know, while he's there. Wally got scared to death. I was sitting around front with him, petting him, when the big uh, pressure washer truck pulled up, and he just went ah, and he just <laughs> he took off down the street. But oh, trust me, he'll be back. I, I made sure his food was out where he would see it, and uh, yeah, he'll be back. He'll be back. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over there in just a minute and um, drop off my stuff. I have some stuff in the trunk to drop off. And, uh, yeah. But I, I, I just wanted to take a minute and say, hey, and I hope you're having a good day so far. 
I don't know what video I'm going to do today. I kind of thought about going on over to Ollie's and doing the shopping to see what kind of food we can find to, to prepare. And I got to thinking about it. I thought, well, can you allow it if it needs like milk and eggs? And I think, yes, you know, I don't know that I'll be able to make anything solely from stuff at Ollie's because they don't have milk, eggs. They might have some cooking oil. But those things we may have to allow that to come from somewhere else. Unless I want to use like a slim fast shake that may or may not be good anymore or a protein shake. I don't know that I'd want to I feel weird buying, I don't know why, but I feel weird buying drinks, like the little individual drinks there. It's like, I don't know what it is about them. I just, man, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, we may end up making more than one thing. If I, if I find a simple thing to make, I might find another simple thing to make and then we'll just make two things. I don't know, but I might go on over there and do a little bit of shopping. Not now, but later on. I've, I'm doing some housework at home, too, this this morning. I'm going to go back and finish up what I was doing. But, uh, yeah, it's Monday. It's D-Day also. It's also D-Day. My son was born on D-Day. And uh, he came out screaming, and he didn't stop for about a year. That poor child. I don't know what was going on with him. The doctor said it could have he could have had a little kink in his intestines or something. Because it did seem like he was in pain. Like every now and then he would be sleeping and he would just instantly wake up screaming. And his pediatrician said he may just have a little kink in his intestines that's causing that. Because it was very sudden. He would be sound asleep and then wake up screaming. And he did that for the longest time. But he was growing. He was healthy. The pediatrician didn't feel or you know notice any problems like with him regular exam he didn't see a need to do any kind of scan or anything but he was growing fine you know he was on schedule he was healthy he you know but he would just wake up screaming like something was hurting him you know but he he did outgrow it but it take it took a while but so yeah if you've got if you've got a kid that doesn't sleep through the night it's not because you're a bad parent it's not because you're no good at this anybody can end up with a kid like that I had one like that my second child my now 13 year old was like that. He just, I don't know, took him forever to get to where he slept through the night. But eventually they will hang in there because I, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. It can really wear on you after a while. You're just like a zombie all the time because I was, but it'll get better. It will. You just hang in there and anybody that wants to judge you or try to, you know, make it, you know, well, it's your fault because you, you suck at being a parent. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not every child sleeps through the night right away. Most of them don't. And I never understood why parents would brag about that. Like, what are you bragging about? My child slept through the night from the first night. <laughs> well, Lottie fucking doll. You know, good for you, honey. I'm very happy for you, but not all children do that. And it doesn't mean that you're better at this. That's why I stopped going to um, message boards for new parents. I just quit because there was it was like a pissing contest with these people. These mommies would get on there. My son was walking at seven months. Oh, that's cute. Mine was walking at six months. Yeah, oh, that's adorable. Mine came out of the womb walking. <laughs> yeah, he just did my taxes for me. He's only three weeks old. Just shut up. I learned nothing from there. You know what I did? I decided with my older son, I'm not going to look at these stupid message boards anymore. It's just a bunch of competitive bitches and I don't need to read it. It just makes me feel bad about myself. Like, I guess I just have like an average baby because he's not doing all this stuff early. He's hella smart though. It, don't worry about it. Don't worry if they don't walk early or talk early or whatever. That has, don't, don't worry about it. Hell, both of my kids are just, they're, they're very smart. They're very talented and smart kids. Don't worry about that. They'll all do it eventually. I mean, if there's a delay, you know, you want to get that checked out. But if they're not doing it early, it doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. It, does, it doesn't. It does Just, you know, I think the most important thing you can do is spend time with your kid. Talk to your kid. Don't use baby talk. I never use baby talk with my children. I've just talked to them nor like normal uh, and read to them read to them every day. I read to my kids every day when they were growing up. 
all up into elementary school, we would read together every day. And they're both really good readers, they're really good spellers, and they're they're pretty eloquent for their age. They're they're good conversationalists. Um, but I never did baby talk with them. I just, I don't know, if you want them to learn a language, I think they need to hear the language. They don't need to hear some bastardized version of it. That's just my opinion, but you do whatever works for you. How the hell did I get off on this? I don't know. I'm sitting in the shade of a beautiful oak tree. It's actually really nice out here. I don't have any oak trees around where I live. This is kind of nice. It's all, all it's two, these are oak trees here. There's a, a pin oak over there and a sweet gum right down there. Very nice and peaceful right here, but I'm going to go drop my stuff off and go home and get back to work. But yes, to all you parents out there with young children, savor these moments. Enjoy it because they grow up super fast. I mean, I have a rising senior in high school. I cannot believe that. That is so crazy. Oh my Lord. God, when I started this channel, he was in elementary school. <laughs> Lord, and my younger son wasn't even in school when I, no, he was. Yeah, he, he was in school. He would have been in like kindergarten or first grade. Yep, because it was one year that they were both in the same school together because they both went to the same elementary school when my younger son was in first grade and my older son was in fifth grade. Because my younger son went to a different school for pre-K and then in first grade, he, they were at the same school. So there was one year where they were both in school at the same school at the same time. Other than that, they've been at two two different schools this entire damn time. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, so, anyway. Happy Monday again. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you again soon.